Hey, I'm Yasin from Clarkswell, and I'm going to talk to you, talk you through how to add ranking, liker, and rating questions on Microsoft Forms. So this is our form so far. In the previous video, we added textual questions. I'm going to start by adding a new section, which I'm going to call You and Teams. The first question I'm going to add is a ranking question. What do you mainly use Teams for as an individual? Now, this is a ranking question where we want people to fill in four options and then put them in order. We can also add a subtitle as it's not completely intuitive. So click add down here on these dots and click subtitle. And I'm going to write, please drag and drop options to rank from one to five. Our four options are going to be that, video calls, meetings, which I'm going to write are going to include video and screen sharing, I'm going to click another option and I'm going to write document sharing. I'm going to make this question required so people are forced to answer this one. Similarly to using ranking questions, we can also use what Microsoft likes to call Likert questions to rank things. So click Add New. Click Likert. We're going to put in the question, how do you find different activities within Teams ease of use? We're going to put our activities down here on the side where it says statement one and statement two. So the first one is going to be chat. And second statement is going to be video calls. And we put our different options on how to rank things across the top here. The first one is going to be simple and intuitive. Option two is going to be okay once you've got the knack. Option three, I'm going to write passable. Option four, terrible. And option five, I'm going to write I don't know. Obviously, here we can add as many more options or actions as I like. This will do for the moment. I'm also going to quickly show you how to add a rating question. So click add new, click rating. I'm going to say, how would you rate Microsoft Teams overall? This is how we can go in and give five stars to Teams as a product as a whole. You can see I can choose how many levels from one to 10 down here. I'm going to stick with five. You can also change the symbol from star to numbers, but I'm going to stick with star as well. I'm also going to make, keep this as a required question. To show you how to answer these questions, I'm just going to go to preview mode up here at the top. And I'm going to click through to the questions I've just written. Um, you can view it, it shows you how to view it on a desktop mode, your computer mode, or in a mobile view. And as you can see, it's all entirely accessible. So I'm going to show you how to quickly answer the questions. So number four, you just have to drag and drop them. It's as easy as that. Number five, we just click our different options. And number six, of course, we rate teams five stars. And it's simple as that. Up next, I'm going to show you how to use branching to create a more dynamic form. Thanks for watching and check out our other videos and feel free to sign up to our newsletter. Thank you.